One of the other treatments we use here at the Liver and Pancreas Tumor Center is called NanoKnife. NanoKnife is a relatively new technology that uses high voltage uh, uh, energy to actually disrupt the tumor cells and the tumor cells swell and die. NanoKnife is a type of ablation. You may have heard of microwave ablation or radiofrequency ablation. NanoKnife doesn't use heat, it uses electrical energy. When the electrical energy is applied for a long period of time at higher voltages, it can actually kill the cells and again they, they, the cells swell, they disrupt and then the body just absorbs the, uh, the, the, the dead tissue. So NanoKnife is really interesting because it can be used in situations where tumors may be otherwise unresectable. That is, you can't remove them, but you may be able to nanoknife them. I'm going to talk about a couple of situations where the nanoknife can be used to treat pancreas tumors. As you know, pancreas tumors are best treated if they can be removed, but unfortunately there are circumstances where that may not be possible. So the nanoknife can be used in a situation, I have a diagram here of the pancreas, and for example, if there is a tumor in the pancreas, that is involving some major blood vessels. This is a picture of the uh, uh, artery that goes to the liver called the hepatic artery. This is something called the celiac trunk, uh, which is the artery that sends all the blood flow to all of the upper abdominal organs. If the tumor is involving this artery, then that tumor would be considered unresectable because we're, we're unable to get the tumor completely out. The idea with NanoKnife is through some probes can be inserted through the skin or through an incision directly around the tumor and then high uh, voltage energy is applied to these probes. It's hooked up to a generator and essentially the current passes between these two probes and treats the tumor. So the idea here is that you put the probes around the tumor it may be two probes, but more frequently it may be uh, three probes or even four probes that are actually bracketed around the tumor and applied to it and then the tumor gets essentially electrocuted, uh, for lack of a better term, and, and the tumor dies. So that would be one situation where it involves the blood vessels. There may be another situation where you have a tumor in this location that's involving or, or wrapping around this artery here, this is called the superior mesenteric artery, but the same concept could apply. You bracket the tumor with these uh, probes, apply the electrical energy through the nanonife generator, and you can actually uh, kill the tumor in place. Then we follow it with CT scans over the course of, of, of many months, and we should be able to see our treatment effects. Sometimes it's difficult to know for sure, whether there are any viable or living tumor cells there, but generally between the CT scan and the tumor markers and how you're feeling, we should have some uh, idea of how well the treatment is working. This is a fairly new treatment. Uh, there are not a lot of studies showing uh, long-term outcomes with NanoKnife. Uh, it would be considered uh, by some insurance companies, quote, investigational. However, we have done uh, a, a number of these cases and they're done in about 50 centers throughout the United States. So it is a more commonly pr uh, performed procedure, but at this point in time, we really don't have any long-term uh, results uh, in terms of, 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 of cancer survival after this procedure. But we have had, uh, we do know that it can be done and we are doing it for uh, pancreas tumors. There's one other indication for this uh, situation where you have in a tumor like this that's uh, up against the major blood vessels, as opposed to taking the tumor out, for example, doing a Whipple procedure and removing the head of the pancreas where we might be leaving tumor cells behind on the blood vessel, you can use the nanoknife in addition to surgery and, and use the nanoknife to kill the tumor cells that might be on the artery, but then go ahead and remove the tumor. So this would be something that's done in addition to surgery. Um, we call that uh, um, accentuation or margin accentuation where we actually uh, uh, try to kill any tumor that might be at the margin. So that can be, uh, nanonite can be done in combination with removing the tumor 
or it can be used where the tumor is actually left in place and the nanonite becomes the, uh, the, the major uh, treatment. We will definitely do the nanonite in conjunction with both chemotherapy and we may do it in conjunction with radiation therapy as well. So I'm not recommending it as a standalone procedure. It should be done in co cooperation with a medical oncologist, possibly a radiation oncologist, and it's part of our multidisciplinary uh, uh, care uh, philosophy that we have here at Roswell Park. So this would be a team uh, approach, and this would just be one of the treatments that would be recommended in addition to uh, chemotherapy and, and, and radiation therapy as well.